What's going on guys? Hope you're having a good day. Welcome back to the channel. We're going to be starting a new run. Cutter McLumberton is still going. That's going to come out. That's going to stay a no commentary uh, series. Now, a couple of you did ask for me to do some commentary. So I figure start a new series and do that. I have no problem doing that. But I know a lot of you have a lot of new subscribers and part of me doing this video now and this new series is because I want to thank all of you for subscribing and liking and commenting on the videos. They really help and they let me know what you're looking for, what kind of questions you have. So thank you. I really appreciate that so much. To all my subscribers, really, you, you are you're wonderful. Thank you. Um, if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe and like the video. would love to have you join the crew. You know, it's we just, we just game and have fun around here. We don't deal with crap because... That's why we game. We don't want to deal with crap. Um, but one of the things on the uh, Cutter playthrough I got, the, one of the questions I got a lot from you guys was my mods. What mods am I using? So before we start this, I'm just, I've cleared out all the mods and we're going to pick the mods. The only car mod that I'm interested in running on this run is um, the Man Cat because I haven't tried that yet and that looks like plenty of uh, trunk space to me. So we're going to grab that. And then we're going to come down here. You see, I, I got a lot of car mods because I like that for Project Zomboid. I think Project Zomboid, if they added more guns and more different cars into their vanilla, they would it, it would be it would be a lot better. And I think they're going to do that in the future. But anyway, um, it's a good thing about um, PC gaming. Modders are wonderful and they give such great stuff. All right, in Cutter, I did the Brita weapon pack. Not going to do that this time. We are going to also do the John Wick suit and pencil. I'm not going to do that this time either. We are going to run Taylorsville because that's the map I want to check out and play. So I'll let you check this one out. Um, town located south of the Ohio River and west of uh, West Point. I think if you like follow this road down, you come to Riverside. I think. I don't know. We'll, we'll look at the map when we get in there and when we find what map. Um, town is based on the real life town of Taylorsville, Kentucky. So if you're from Taylorsville, Kentucky, sh Shout out to you. Let me know if this is actually accurate. It looks like a really cool map, though. I'm kind of wondering what this is. That's gonna, it'll be really interesting to check this out. All right, yeah, and this the Project Zomboid. This the, this is the map pack. If you want to know what I'm running on the No Commentary series, this is it. And I do show them all, but that episode's coming later on. And I try to tell everybody the mods that I'm using when they ask. All right, we're going to take the true actions dancing so our character can bust out some dances. And I am going to take the vanilla firearms mod. This is my favorite that I've found so far. If you have a, a better weapons mod pack, please leave it down in the comments. I will check it out. But this has great guns in it, and it's just an expansion of vanilla, which I think that's all they need to do anyway. Um, and... Uh, the library has to stay on because that gets other mods to work properly. So that's that's all the mods that we're going to run. I'm just really interested in this series. We're going to set a cap on it. We're going to say 100 days to explore Taylorsville, to clear Taylorsville, and to secure it. And after 100 days, we'll see if we succeeded or not. So let's... Um, we'll let the reloading Lua work. I think they're going to have to add in the textures... We'll see. And then we'll do custom sandbox. On um, Cutter's playthrough, I'm doing Apocalypse. I didn't change anything. Just Apocalypse difficulty. So let's do custom sandbox. We got our mods here. Not many. Um, and you've seen them all in detail, but you see them all right here. So custom sandbox. Let's go. Let's take Taylorsville as our spawn point. Um, zombie options. Respawns. That's what we want to cut off. We want to cut off respawns, respawns, respawns. And you know what? I think we're going to bump the population up a little bit. Let's go high. Let's get high. All right. Vehicles. I'm not. I'm not going to mess with any of that stuff. Vanilla firearms expansion. We're going to keep everything the same. I just wanted to turn off spawns and to get a few more zomboids in there. All right. Uh, Cutter was a lumberjack. Axeman's a really good perk, so we're not going to do that. I was thinking police officer. Let's do a little more shooting, and then we can get the nimble bonus, the aiming, and the reloading. 
reloading bonuses, which are excellent skills to have bonuses to level. And then you get some fitness and some strength. But I think we're going to go with unemployed. We get eight points. Fitness and strength is fine. Let's go with cat's eyes, dexterous, outdoorsman, wakeful. We don't even really need the outdoorsman doing. It's not really necessary. We'll get rid of that. We'll do fast reader. Because we do, we got have a we have a hundred days. We'll get through reading a little faster. Normally, I don't do fast reader. I do slow reader because you can just speed it up when you're not worried about time limits. But since we are doing time limits, we're not going to do that. All right, so we have zero points. Let's let's do our negatives. Let's do short sighted, weak stomach. Mm -hmm. Agoraphobic. Oh, that took... Okay, we'll, we'll get Gorephobic gone. We will take Adrenaline Junkie. And then we are going to take... We'll take Hearty Appetite. Prone to Illness. Smoker. High Thirst. Slow Healer. Fear of Blood. So that when we get freaked out... We'll try to keep bloody <laughs> so that we're moving quicker. Or, you know, if we do a lot of fighting and get blood all of us, we'll be moving quicker. So that'll work. We'll take agoraphobic. Uh, not agoraphobic, sorry. Um, fear of blood. Let's go with 26 points. Okay, so we got a pretty decent amount. Do we want any more negatives? Conspicuous. Take conspicuous. Let them see us. We should take underweight because it's just so easy to gain weight in Project Zomboy. We'll take we'll take underweight because it's just so easy and to, to deal with. And um, forget it. We won't. We won't. We got thirty points. We got plenty of points. Let's go with strong. Let's go with athletic because we're not going to have time to really do exercising. At 10 points, let's go with, um, let's go with Gymnast, get us some more Lightfoot and Nimble bonuses for leveling. Let's go with, uh, let's go with Lucky. Speed Demon. Alright, so we are zeroed out. Alright, Morris Jinnigan. Let's see how you do. TV. Immediately cut that on. Life and living. Get that tuned in. Get that turned up. And we got cooking coming on up. That works. We are in a tiny house. Probably will not be staying here, but hopefully we can find a weapon. No. 
we're gonna be doing some damage with a saucepan, it looks like. That's what we got. Oh! Yeah, it's a baseball bat? That is a full baseball bat, too. Oh, that's so good. Alright, let's... Now we did do high. I'm thinking maybe we should have done very high. But there will be more as the server agents. never do multi hit. I don't like multi hit. Just doesn't make any sense to me how like a crowbar can hit three zombies at once and do damage enough to actually stun them or stop them for any time. It just makes no sense. I love this game, man. It puts you kind of like in it. It's so realistic, except for the multi hit. Get rid of multi hit, guys. Oh, a garage. Hey, they. Is this a store? in there and he wasn't in there now all of a sudden he's in there okay so be it there's just a lot of weird stuff for project zombie man <laughs> all the way across the furniture Let's see if we can find a bottle. How many were in that garage? Oh, there's, st there's still some in that garage. Okay. Okay, so there are plenty of zombies. I was thinking about restarting and doing very high population. But well, there seems to be. Plenty. The garage. That's who was in the garage. Okay. There was a lot of them in that garage. I right, don't want me to bust out this griddle pan. Soda, 
drink it. I'm gonna get some water in the next house. Let's see if there's anything we can use for a weapon. In this garage. There's a one shelf in this garage. Nice. What were all the zombies doing in here? Propane torch. Oh god. It's almost time for our shows. Alright, let's go watch TV. Look at this place. That's cool. So far, I'm really digging this. Taylorsville, man. This is cool. I mean, if you're from Taylorsville, Kentucky, is this legit? Like, is this your house? <laughs> Hi. Oh, I just want to watch TV, guys. Don't get up. Take a little break, finish drinking our soda. Food's good, we can eat. Oh, I guess we need to cut that up real quick. Okay. Let's grab some water. Show is over. Let's see if this car works. Let's get these zombies first. Alright, my goal for this is just to do one day at a time. Generator? I don't do fire in games. I don't do that. Look, if you do that, that's fine. It, game how you want to game what, what gets you into the game and what you like to do. But when I log on to a, a, a zombie game, I want to kill zombies, not go into an area, gather them all up, set them on fire, and wait. To me, that's, that's so boring. But to you, that might be exciting and thrilling to do. And if it is, it is. That's cool. You do you. But... I think it's pretty lame. I don't want to do it. Man. This is a pretty decent area though with the fence. Pretty good. Not great. Look good. Let's check this car. We'll check this car. We'll check this house. Uh, do any of these have a bag on? Oh, I don't see it. Okay, 
Yeah, I think we pulled enough. We need smokes. We need a bag. Zomboid, as long as you're careful, you're okay. As soon as you start to get cocky, and that's when it's when you get bit. You get got. Happens to me all the time. I'm like, oh yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm so good at this. I got this. And then, I don't. So in Project Zomboid, there's two big things you follow if you want to survive. Don't run, unless you have to run, or you just die tired. And don't get too cocky, because at any time one bite can get you, right? Look at that. Look at that. I've got this little farm here. This is a this is a great little map. I, I need to chill because I want to see everything. Look, we got a water barrel right there too. Fence running all the way down. Oh, okay. Maybe this is maybe this is the area that this is maybe this fence is off this area maybe. Yeah, come on out, man. Come on out, come on out, bro. Bop. <laughs> Alright, let's see what we got here. We really need to find a bag. Oh, there's no door to go into the house. Every attached garage I've ever been in has a door to go into the house, but I haven't been in all of them, so what do I know? I don't remember those. See, if you pick underweight, there's so much food in this game. This house does have some books and stuff. Give me a pack of smokes. Smokes, let's go. Let's 
Grab trash bag, but then we won't be able to use the baseball bat, right? Okay. Hmm. Gentlemen, come out here, and ladies. Smokes. Fences everywhere. Having fences everywhere does make it a lot easier. <laughs> Must be near a school or something? If so, we should be able to find some, some more weapons. Let's get rid of this. Darn. She was nowhere near me. That's ridiculous. Hurry this up a little bit. All of y'all, come on. Alright, let's ditch them. Okay. 
Okay, where did they come from? people though. Greedy. 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 Smokes. We need to take painkillers. Maybe in that car. I kind of like this. I like that apartment building. Maybe that'd be pretty cool to set up in that apartment building. Cause we a smoke. Nervous wreck. If you see flies, they will start making you sick. You don't want corpse sickness, so just, just get away from them, no big deal. Look at that, we got some trucks right there, that'll work. Let's see if we, Let's see if we got some smokes in here. We don't, but we have alcohol wipes. I guess they had a, a, a snack, and then they decided to take a little chill.
Hey. Nice. Got a lighter. You get that. Oh, <laughs> I walked it through the wrong spot. Screw with them. Let them tear that down. That'll give us more weapons. Actually, not bad that that's all that followed us down of that group. Yeah, we're already tired. Okay. New game plan. We're going to ditch them. the bleed and stop. Looks like we are going to have to stay here tonight, though. Let's see if any followed us around the house. Doesn't look like they did. Do a little more fighting before it gets dark. We can sleep a little better if we can clear out this little group. Then we know, uh...
hand axe is so good. Even if you're not a lumberjack, the hand axe is just so good. Take that door down. Oh, they kind of just hung out right there. That fence. grab these and then we'll probably go and call it. It's starting to get dark. I think we're pretty safe. Our bedroom's on this side of the house. We should be alright. almost midnight so we should just make ourselves go to sleep let's that's a watermelon Okay, I'm not going to go over there. Alright, let's just let's set our alarm. Did take wakeful. All right. All right. Let's. Uh off the alarm. Let's get to our show. And we'll call it there. I know you guys like shorter videos, so I'm thinking on this we're probably going to do like one day at a time. But yeah, the, the, the main part of me starting this new series is to check out the Taylorsville map, absolutely, but also to thank you for subscribing and, and liking. So I really appreciate you. Thank you so much for watching and for liking the content. 
I mean, if you made it this far, please subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. It really help. I'm thinking when we come back and we start back up, our main priority is looking for a pack of smokes. We, we got those two box trucks down there. One of them is open. Maybe that one will work out for us that's unlocked. Maybe it'll have a key or a smokes or something in there. But I'm, I'm thinking we'll probably find a pack of smokes in, in there. We've searched a few cars. Cars, if you're looking for smokes and you can't find like a store, just check cars. They're pretty good drop rate on those. Haven't had any drop off zombies yet, but we're going to be looking for transportation and smokes on the, on the next run on day two. And that's going to help get rid of these moodles. Severely depressed. What we'll, we'll have to do with these moodles too? Uh, eat the watermelon. All right, guys. We'll end it here. I really appreciate you. You are awesome. Thank you so much. I hope you have a great day. Later.